Welcome to PhoneSavvy.com's weekly app review. Make sure you visit our website at PhoneSavvy.com to check out all of our reviews of the best apps on the Android Play Store. An application I'll be doing a review on today is called Color Note. It's an application that I recently found in the Play Store. Go ahead and select the Play Store application and then type in Color Note in the search engine at the top. And then you will see this application here, Color Note, Notepad Notes. Go ahead and download that application and let me show you what that application will do for you. The application will look like this on your screen. Go ahead and select it. And your main screen will show this. I've already added a few categories. You can add new categories for yourself by hitting the plus button at the top. What I like about this application is it replaces a lot of applications that I currently use because it does them all in one. This is my calendar and reminder station so I can set up reminders for myself but make lists with that reminders or notes so that I'm more organized. You can have these lists be anything. I've given a few examples right here groceries that I need to get, supplies, and then movies for movies that I want to rent but always forget what to rent when I get there so I made a list for that also. We can change the view of this so that we can actually see some of the items in these lists without having to actually select it. I'll show you how to do that. But when you select one of your categories it'll show everything that you have and you can add to it at any time just by selecting the pencil at the top and it'll allow you to type in new supplies that you'd like to add to that list. If we select this option in the top right corner we can edit some of the settings of this application. One of the things I want to edit right now to show you is the view. Go ahead and select view and then put it into grid view and then it reorganizes your list into this grid so you can actually see the category and then the top items that you have on that list. You can also select it and bring it up just as I did in the other view. Whichever way you prefer. Now what we can do is set reminders for ourselves for these lists. One thing, uh, let's say I want to pick up these supplies after work on Monday which would be tomorrow. So I want to set a rem reminder for myself tomorrow. Let's go ahead and bring up this or this list and we can select the settings option in the top right corner. This will allow us to set a reminder. Go ahead and select the reminder option and then touch the when spot right here and since today is Sunday I'm going to go ahead and select tomorrow and then hit done. You can also make a repetitive thing daily, weekly, or monthly if you have any lists that you take care of on a regular basis. And what will happen tomorrow is my notification panel at the top of my screen It will have a reminder for me throughout the day to pick up supplies. So I will always see that throughout the day with the little icon for from color note saying that the supplies needed to be picked up. Let's bring this back up. Another nice thing you may have noticed when we selected here right above reminder we had an option to send. We can actually send this list of supplies Let's say, let's say the wife is at the supply store and you can't make it after work. We can go ahead and just email this to her or do a simple text message. And it will put your supplies in a text message form. Just go ahead and put in the contact's name or the 10 digit number you want to send this message to. So there's a lot of nice features with this application. They allow you to edit a lot of settings. Let me go ahead and cancel that text message. If we go back to our main screen and select here again, if 
we select settings, you can see some of the different options and ways to make this application your own. You can change the default color and you can also, I don't know if I showed you or if you noticed this, but there's a lot of backup options. You can actually back up your list to your memory card or online. If we select the SD card backup, we can then select backup notes. You'll have to set yourself a password for this and then hit save and then you can actually back your list up to your SD card in case you need to replace your phone at a different time. You will be able to keep all of your notes that you had. As I said earlier, to add a new category, just go ahead and hit the plus button and then select text. Uh, whatever you put first here will be the category. And then just hit this button here to go down to the next line and then start adding your list of whatever list you can think of, of things that you'd need to remind yourself of. So Color Note is my app of the week. Make sure you download it on the Android Play Store and also visit our website at phonesavvy.com again to see all of the best apps on the Android Play Store. Thank you.